This next artist and this next amazing and generous individual has traveled all over the state, all over the country, all over the world now, showcasing his artwork, his designs, his amazing sculptures out of glass. It's Mr. Craig Mitchell Smith, and I had the pleasure to go to his brand new studio in Old Town for a special sneak peek at a new Disney project he's working on. Dare I say I was all ears. He's an artist you have to see or sometimes see through to believe. And he's now breathing new life into Lansing's old town while also making national headlines. It's time to meet Craig Mitchell Smith, the glass man with the Midas touch, or as he likes to remind me, don't touch. I am so happy to be here in Old Town. This is, I am fourth generation Lansing, so this is a homecoming for me. With his roots returned to Lansing, it's only fitting Craig's craft keeps growing. We can spread out and make larger and larger pieces, and the work is going further and further away. All the way to Disney World now. His newest piece, Flight of the Monarch, will take off and spread its wings at Epcot for the International Flowering Garden Festival this spring. Doing something magical for a place as magical as Disney is a perfect fit for me. I'd never been to Disney as kids. I'm a kid now. His youthful enthusiasm blossoming. Just like the natural scenes the former florist now creates out of glass. Everything I do is my response to something absolutely beautiful that I saw in nature. All the pieces of glass were made flat. By firing them a second time, they collapse onto the form. You're like the Willy Wonk it is. of I glass. Feel, this is, this is the, yes, this is my chocolate factory. This is the, I love it. And what's not to love? A local artist following his dreams and ending up at the place where dreams come true. Magic happens right here. And I can tell you he is very excited not only to be showcasing and creating that artwork in Old Town, but to be here to tell us more about it, let's welcome to the stage, in the flesh, Mr. Craig Mitchell Smith, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'll put you uh, right here and cool. feel free to spill your water. That's kind of what we're doing here it's on the theme. show today. It's a theme. It's a theme. Water and glass. Is that a good combination? Sure. It is. Water, I do stuff for fountains. I like the, the glass looks better wet. There you go. Okay. See, I was just foreshadowing. I was just getting ready for you. Yep. When the stuff is being photographed, uh, my photographer will often walk through the thing with a little pump mister bottle and get the work wet. Plus, it covers the dirt. That's very funny. That's how John Vale prepares for the show. <laughs> People just missed him. Ha ha ha. And he just walks through it. But that's why the music sounds so good. Why your artwork looks so good. You have so much skill, but it's the passion and energy you put into it. Tell me a little bit about what got you started into becoming a glass artist and why you're here. You could have gone anywhere and home is here. Home is here. I'm fourth generation Lansing. I am never leaving. Uh, I can go any place I want to, and I know where home is. So I'm sticking around. No, I started making glass, uh, what, six years ago? Um, it was kind of a fluke. I was on HGTV. They were going to do my kitchen, and instead they saw I was doing a little glass. Next thing I know, I got cameras in my face, so I'm used to this now. They were making over your kitchen. I did. I redo you, were, I, you were redoing the kitchen. Right. I submitted some photographs to HGTV, and it was originally about my kitchen, and this, I'm sending pictures back and forth to this woman in Hollywood. He's got a great looking kitchen. I got a, it's a cool kitchen. Man, That's how this started. Well, oh, you, come on over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Yeah. No, I'm not going that far. John uh, Dale, be polite. <laughs> be polite. It's me. Okay, it's me. That's who I got him on the show. I'm washing his dishes, okay? <laughs> You always got to embarrass me on the show. Dan, you know? <laughs> but, well, but you know, so oftentimes you th think something is one thing, it turns into another. Um, they saw, they said, well, we've seen a lot of kitchens, but my career started with this woman in Hollywood saying, what's that thing in the corner of photograph 30 something? And I looked it up, and what it was was a cobalt blue glass gazing ball that had been my grandmother's, and it, a tree crashed on it, and it broke into these shards. And I'm a sentimental guy, I couldn't throw it away, so I hot glued it together as these just kind of forms that did that. And, uh, Truly, a thing in the corner, but uh -huh. it had sentimental value and to personal me. value. So I glued together a broken piece of glass, because it had been my grandmother's, and this woman in Hollywood saw this, and she said, what's that thing in the corner? And when I realized what she was talking about, I said, oh, I don't know, I guess it's a sculpture. And she says, do you have anything more like that? I said, no, but I... I but I can. But I can. And in they fact, said... Hold on. 
<laughs> Sorry, but these are plastic. Plastic. No, don't do that. Oh, I was hoping we could break that and no, have a sculpture. I would have brought you one. Unbelievable. Jeez, <laughs> next time we'll have glass for you. So I'll break the, I break a lot of glass. So anyway, the upshot of this was nine weeks later, they sent a television crew to film what I said I'd do, and they did. And I was not thinking anybody would want to buy this. So it was a step-by-step -step thing to become a professional artist. But here I am, now I've got four employees and we're doing stuff. I'm traveling the country doing one-man shows of my work uh, for gardens and yes, enjoying every minute of it. In fact, when we get back after the break, not only are we going to talk more about your lacent, lacent, your recent, latest. your latest recent trip, <laughs> your latest recent lacent trip. That's what happened. My speech breaks like glass, and then I just glue it back together, and that's what it sounds like. And you like. turn it into art. And I turn it into art, <laughs> or at least editing. One or the other. But we make it work, don't we? When we get back, we'll talk about your trip to Disney, and I understand you have a very new, very special piece that you would like to debut on the show. I would. A gift for you. A gift. Deal. Craig Mitchell Smith's coming back to showcase some of his newest artwork right here on the Evan Michael Show. This is fun.